mass transitions are still used today. They give that seamless effect from one shot to another. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to quickly do them in Adobe Premiere. Let's get started. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Right before we jump right ahead, you want to make sure that you shoot this video you want to use this transition with. Like you want to plan it ahead of time, having an object covering completely the frame from one side to the other. To get started, I have been able to place these two clips on the timeline already. And I've been able to trim them down and slow them down to where I want it. So you want to select these two clips and remove the audio. How you do that is you want to select both of them and unlink them. And then you're going to select the audio clips and delete them. Next, you're going to go to the first clip and you are going to hold the Alt key and drag it upwards, this, the clip itself. Next, you're going to select the one that is on top and you are going to go to where the transition is going to take place in this case this one over here this bar that just passed by this is the transition that we're going to be using we just go ahead and zoom it out for 25 percent so we have enough room to play around with select this tool and then we are going to cover up this part like that next you are going to select the little time watch that is over here click on that and if the mask goes away just click on the mask over here afterwards you are going to go right about where the bar goes away so it's gonna be just about there we are gonna move it like this and then you're just gonna go frame by frame frame by frame until it goes away and then you're going to do the same for the beginning of where the bark starts. So you want to make sure you go over here. Alright, just uh, do the same the opposite way. There you go. This is what you should be having so far. Next, delete the clip that is on the bottom. Hit the invert box over here to invert it and this is going to do the completely opposite you are going to place the next clip on the bottom of the first one right about when the transition starts so it's just right about there this is what you should be having so far I'm gonna go for fit once again this is what you should be having so far it looks pretty good already but you could even have it a little bit more smoother. You want to go ahead to the clip that you applied the mask to and feather it a little bit. I don't like to feather it that much, just about like say third ish. And the mask expansion, adding or subtracting of the mask. And this is how you're going to be having the transition pretty much. I'm going to add a little color grade to it, some editing and uh, you're gonna be good to go thank you so much for watching guys if you like the video don't forget to like subscribe turn on the notifications so you won't miss any other further content and I'll see you guys on the next video peace out